All right, news today. First off, Nate Ahim, the developer marketing lead for Google slash Stadia, is pretty damn confident about the future of the game streaming platform. His exact words regarding Stadia's future were that it is, quote, uh, alive and well. Also, according to Mr. Ahim, Stadia is set to launch over 100 new games this year. Amazingly. Not too shabby for a platform whose internal dev studio we shut down, eh? Despite this seemingly good news, uh, I can't help but feel that this won't change the mind of those who think Stadia is dumb and haven't already jumped the board, myself included. Anyway, now for the juicy shit. Look at these new DualSense controller colors. Wow! <laughs> Man, if I had a PS5 right now, I'd need a change of pants. These bad boys will retail for between $70 and $75, depending on what color you want. Midnight Black for 70 bucks. Or Cosmic Red for 75 And listen to this incredible piece of marketing nonsense. Uh, this comes directly from the PlayStation blog post. And it says, quote, Midnight Black features two subtly different shades of black with light gray detailing to reflect how we view space through the night sky. And Cosmic Red offers a striking black and red design inspired by the unique vivid shades of red found throughout the cosmos. Well, I mean, for God's sake, how could you not buy both, right? <laughs> but my absolute favorite bit uh, comes directly from Leo Cardoso, who is the uh, color material and uh, finish design lead for PlayStation. Quote, Our goal is to always find designs that will surprise and entice our fans. And these new colors are the result of an extensive selection process. I mean... <laughs> Come on. These, these, these colorful controllers are apparently very serious business. I, I had no idea. Truly. And uh, speaking of rampant consumerism, there's some nice pieces of Resident Evil Village merch uh, being sold by Fangamer. They come out this summer in, of course, the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, we got Lady D, we got the, the fetus, maybe, Kadu Village logo thing, and best of all, an adorable house Dimitris. Cool. Chibi pen set. Dimitrescu, Dimitrescu, listen, I still have no idea how to pronounce it. The game pronounces it one way, the internet pronounces it another way. I don't know. How's D? How's D chibi pen set? <laughs> Look at how adorable they are. Aww. I'll take your entire stock, please. Uh, that's it. That, that concludes today's news shot. Uh, in case you were hoping for news concerning, I don't know, Destiny or some other game that, that can't seem to catch a break for making headlines, mostly negative ones at that. Uh, I only cover games. I only cover games that I actually have an interest in playing, have played, or definitely will play at some point uh, in the future. And with that, I'd like to leave you with today's parting thoughts. What the hell was that? I think my PlayStation just finished updating something. <laughs> anyway, today's parting thought is, where the hell is the Cuphead DLC? And I am more than a little concerned about the state of Bloodlines 2's development right now. I'll see you all next time.